Hello buddies, good morning. I noticed that many of us who are interested in blades, knives and swords are also interested in bows and crossbows. So this is a video on my crossbow. I got it two weeks ago. Well, the first thing that you do when you get interested in crossbow shooting is to do some research and you find the big players like uh, Horton or PSE or Ten Points or Excalibur. And uh, I think the first real decision that you have to make before purchasing a crossbow is whether you want to have a um, more traditional recurve system with only one uh, string or if you want to go for the more modern compound uh, bow system. This is a traditional recurve system and I think the second um, decision that you have to make is whether you want to go for a high-end model or whether uh, um, well uh, a budget model like this one is fine with you. I went for this budget model regarding the high-end models in recurve uh, crossbows. There is uh, one manufacturer that comes to mind and this is Excalibur from Canada. They do very fine uh, recurve crossbows and what's important, the modern crossbows, recurve as well as compound, they have uh, the bow in a dual limb construction, meaning they have two limbs that are screwed together in the front of the crossbow, of the crossbow stock. This is a, a one piece construction, one bow. It's made by a manufacturer called Jaguar, but I think in the United Kingdom you will also find this uh, crossbow model uh, named by the manufacturer Armex and this is made in uh, Taiwan in fact. It has a, a draw weight of 150 pounds, this one. In fact I ordered um, this uh, with, together with a second uh, black um, bow. This is a camo bow with 150 pounds draw weight and the second bow that I got uh, the black one has 175 pounds. Now, that's important. I was not sure about the drawing strings, so I ordered the original bow in uh, the original crossbow in uh, 175 pounds. So, originally, this Jack bow is Jaguar bow is uh, 175 pounds. And here it is, hope you can read this, 175 LBS. And I also thought, because the dealer offered this, I would get a one in 150 LBS. So that's the camo design. And uh, I, I think that a 150 pound uh, crossbow is uh, enough to start with because this allows you to uh, cock the crossbow by hand. Yeah? So let's have a look how this crossbow shoots. So, fellows, make sure that you have um, good ground standing then you get the string and pull so it's cocked now and uh, what's cool it has a, a safety mechanism here you have to put it in front now it's ready to shoot but just a second we have to load the arrow and you see the arrow, the bolt, has one um, yellow feather, it's a synthetic material, and you have to put the yellow feather 
down in the rail. So, hope you can see it. And then Okay, now this crossbow is ready to shoot. Just aiming at my target now. This target it is I made of several newspapers that I glued together. It's really really important to have a good target because you have to pull out the bolt. So distance is approximately well, this is 8 meters. So. Bingo. Let's have a look. So you see the arrow sticks really deep. So fellows, upcoming is the second shot with the Jaguar crossbow. Safe. Okay, now the distance to my target is approximately uh, 10 meters. So, ready to shoot. Exactly, target distance 10 meters. Let's see. Oh, you hear the sound? Sounds good. So, about my second shot. I'm really happy and pleased with this uh, system. Uh, with my target You see it Did not even go through the uh, card box So if you want to go for a cheap aim and you will need an aim then you just glue together some uh, newspapers because what's happened when you don't use an aim like this, I can show you. You know, I uh, already killed some arrows. Hope you can see it here and here. This is where the arrows went right into the wood. So, third time cocking the crossbow. Here we go. So, okay, that was way too high. Okay, this time it nailed my target to the wood. And uh, hope you can see. how deep it went in the wood, this uh, tip.
Just to give you a comparison, that's what the tip looked like. So I guess the first the first centimeter went in the wood and the rest of the energy was uh, absorbed by my target. So, next shot. Distance approximately 9 meters. Three, two, one, bam. Okay, since for the last shots I was a little bit too high, now I aimed low and this was better. Okay, you see, again, it did not go through my newspaper target, card box target. Very cool idea, I'm very pleased that I didn't spend any money so far on a proper target. Time enough for one more shot. You know, the cocking and the uh, shooting, of course, really is fun. Here we go. Let's hope this time I aim better. This arrow is a little bit thicker. Ready to shoot. Yeah. This was a nice shot and my distance was approximately 15 meters. Okay. Ah, and you see it nearly came out, nearly came out here, so a good system, my newspaper target. Whoa, easy like this. In this way it is fun to shoot. Very fine. Time for another shot. Now it's getting more and more fun. Yep. Get the bolts in there. to shoot. Okay, let's turn around a bit. So you see from which position I shoot. I try, I will count the meters. So it's one, it's 14 meters. 14 meters to target. Whoa, way too high.
Okay. Let's see. This shot was way too high. Well, 